some exciting news for Star Season Alpha 4.0, as well as the latest pass that went into testing with Evo Kali this weekend. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. Um, since uh the beginning of this year, right uh during our uh, Citizen Con of last year, CIG made um gave us a snapshot of what we can expect for the year of 2024. And one of the biggest things that they mentioned was Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and us finally getting pyro into our hands based on what's been happening recently um it's evident that this is a true thing that they really want to implement okay so one of the ways that you can find out um uh, what cig intends to drop is through inside star citizen episode so recently we received a list of what we can expect um, in the next couple of Inside Star Citizen episodes before uh, this year's Citizen Con. The very next one, I believe for next week or this week, since uh, Sunday is the first day of the week, um, is going to be space station activities. It says contested stations and asteroid bases. So now this is for Pyro, okay, Pyro space station activities. The very next one is going to be related to fire which is related to engineering gameplay, which is intended to drop with um, Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Once again, all right. Three weeks from now, we can expect pyro social experience. It says non-combat content surface area. Once again, pyro content. And after that, then we're gonna get a ship uh, showdown. After that, we can expect pyro episode about fighting. Okay, once again, pyro related. After that, it says um, engineering, life support, cre uh, creature feature, the Zeus, MFDs. All of these are all slotted for Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. So this causes me to believe that they do, they did actually intend to drop Pyro this year, um, at least from uh, June going, that that was their goal. Now, due to the hangers, um, you know delaying um which is the reason why we don't have our hands on it so what's going on what can we expect all right i think next week hopefully star season alpha 3.24 if it goes into wave one and begins to be tested with the broader audience i think we can expect maybe a tech preview of pyro with the server meshing uh, uh, features added and um shortly after that we can expect evo to receive his stars in alpha 4.0 I think they should get it because it's going to be a long testing cycle for Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 because we're getting new tech, we're getting new features, new gameplay mechanics, everything, right? So it needs a long testing cycle. And I think CIG wants to release this live before Citizen Con. Reason being, they probably have another surprise outside of Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 that they want to show during Citizen Con. I guess it might be a new system. It might be new ships. Squadron 42, we already know that we're going to hear about it. Uh, possibly a release date for Squadron. And uh, it sounds like it's going to be some exciting stuff. Okay. All right. So those are my thoughts on, on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. So now let's get into the patch notes of the latest patch. All right. So, okay. So this one is pretty straightforward. Under the gameplay category, it made further cargo auto loading timer balance adjustments and it says more to come soon on the core tech the ultra wide ui scaling will now uh base grid size on height and not width and relative to 16 by 9 aspect ratio um with this there's a few bug fixes they fix an issue where players cannot keep the hangar they are assigned before or right after landing they fix an issue where retrieving ship on personal hangar ASOP teleports player outside. They fix an issue where players cannot access cargo loading area via the Hall C cargo ATC. They fix an issue where mission uh, crate stack cannot be split in the freight manager. Now this is for freight elevators. They fix an issue where elevators for personal hangars despawn and leaving players out of bound and they fix an issue where after a hybrid service crash or shard 
otherwise become unavailable the personal hanger is not available in the next shard the player joins they face an issue where when using the artist play three uh zone display is uh, center screen while in pilot seat they face an issue where cargo loading timers can be made shorter by doing multiple automation loading transactions along with this is three client crash fixes as well as two server crash fixes before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one peace